Hey guys, Ed here. And in this tutorial, we'll be showing you how we did the object transformation and some of the mistakes we encountered filming this effect and how we cleaned them up. First, set up a tripod, get your camera focused and the camera settings correct. For your first shot, throw the object onto the floor. For the second shot, film the items that the object transforms into. So while filming, I forgot to mark down the location of the object drop. So I had to fix this in the edit. So now into Final Cut Pro, we take our first shot and drop it into the timeline. Next, drop a freeze frame of the background without any objects or actors in the shot. I did this by taking a section of the clip where there was no objects or actors in frame and turning it to 0% speed. Next, take the second shot and place it over top the clips. Adjust the clips so the timing matches. And here's where the magic happens. You'll see I applied a layer mask around the objects of the second clip. And this is how it looks without the control points. As mentioned before, I forgot to mark off where the initial object fell. With minor position changes, you're able to do it with the transform tool. Notice the small modification to the position makes it a little bit more seamless and now a little bit more realistic. But of course, the first object is still in the video. So we'll need to mask this out as well. Now we'll go back to the main clip and apply a layer mask. From this point, we'll play around with the control points and keyframes to achieve a more seamless disappearance of the first object. And this is why you need the freeze frame background under the main clip. Without it, the mask on the clip will reveal a blank space. Some small details. Notice the shadow on the back white baseboards. Sometimes you'll need to clean up problems that the mask creates. So now we're going to try to create a fake shadow to cover it. So what we're going to do is make a freeze frame of the original clip with a shadow that we want to place into the video. Drop it over top all the other clips and apply a layer mask and keyframe to create a shadow moving. Looks good so far, but now I notice the shadow of my son at the end of the clip. Just like how we created a shadow before, we're going to drop the original clip over top all the other clips and mask in the shadow just around the blocks. And of course, we'll do some color correction using the adjustment layer technique and add in some music. This was our first tutorial, so let us know what you think. Stay tuned for the next effect that I'll be going through. Until then, get your edits off.